Hi, welcome back to Leo Nature. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a whistle made of hazel. So first we need to find another piece of hazel again. I've got one right here. I'm gonna have to chop where we want it, where we want the whistle to be. Now I'm gonna shorten this stick to the tree. So, first we need to get a nice bit of hazel, one without too many growths, like this. The, the stick needs to be about four inches long, because you don't want a massive whistle. Perfect. Now I'm going to get my axe and hold the stick 90 de uh, 45 degrees, sorry. and I'm going to make the mouth pace. It's important that you hold it at 45 degrees, otherwise you're going to get quite a funny shaped mouthpiece. There! Now we're going to get our future whistle and we're going to cut a V on the other side. So we're going to get this turned upside down, carve two little lines. And then we can join these lines together using a knife. It needs to be quite deep, but not too deep that goes down the other side. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our knife and we're gonna cut a ring around the stick. It has to be quite deep, but you don't want to split the stick. Cool, we've got a ring. And now what we're going to do, we're going to use this part of the knife to bash down the bark. This will make all the sap rise to the surface so it can peel off the bark in a minute. This might, it will take a long time, but it's worth it. After about 10 minutes later, you should be able to peel the bark off. Put that to a side, but we do need that later. Now, the V that we made earlier, we need to make that slightly deeper. Make that quite deeper. And the flat bit here, make that a bit shorter. Good. And now we have our bark. We need to slide this slowly back on. Careful not to break it because it's very fragile. And <gasps> work. Cool. Hopefully yours worked. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.